Hey, hi, Chris. Hi. Hey, can you tell what I was doing? Can you guess what I was doing just now? By the way, I am dressed. Hey. Hi. 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 What you doing? Uh, I'm. Listen, I, I'm playing a guessing game here with, oh, with Chris. Chris? Oh, with Chris? Yes. Oh, can I play too? Oh, yes, you can. Oh, good. You I'm good to, at those yes. things. I'll oh, come on out. Okay, come on out. <laughs> I gotta duck my head. Oh, mm, oh, I get. Uh, oh, you're too big, big I can't you, get out. Too big for this door. Why don't you try another door? Oh, try yeah, I'm coming through the wrong door. I'll come okay. to this door. Let me, let me see if you can get it. There we go. There. Now. Hey, Miguel! Where'd he go? Over there! Through the oh, door! He must have gone in to help me. I'll go back in and tell him I'm out here. Miguel! Whoops! Miguel, I'm stuck! Miguel. Hey, Big, I'm right here, Big Bird! Uh, Behind you! I can't get out! But put your head down! Get your head down a little bit! Oh, oh, I got my beak over the door. Oh. <laughs> there! Yeah, I close it. I close the door. Oh. Wow! Yeah, you want to play the game? Oh, yeah, we haven't even played the game yet. Yeah, okay, so, so this is the game. You got to guess uh, what I was doing just by the way I'm dressed, and I'm going to give you a few clues. By the way you're dressed? Right. Uh-huh, okay. Okay, now I'm going to give I you a... I think I need a few clues. You need a few clues. Okay, this is the first one, Big Bird. And this is a, this is a glove. A glove? Uh-huh. Now you put that on your hands. Uh-huh, right. Okay, got it. You're going someplace where it's going to be very cold. And you're going to have to wear a glove. Oh. Maybe well, another glove on the other no, hand. Well, no, well, no, I think maybe I should give you another clue. And uh, this is this is the other clue. This is a piece of wood, and it's called a bat. A bat? Mm-hmm. It's a piece of wood. Right, it is. Right. Mm -hmm. You're going someplace where it's very cold. You have to wear gloves on your hand. And you're bringing wood with you to burn in the fireplace. <laughs> oh, well, I, I think, I think, Big Bird, I think I should give you one last clue, okay? okay. And, mm -hmm. Now, I got it. Now, this that I got in my hands is, uh, is round. It's round? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And it's uh, hard. It's hard? And it's uh, white. It's white? Mm-hmm. It's a snowball. Oh, <laughs> well, well. You're going someplace uh, where you're going to throw snowballs, and you're wearing gloves to keep your hands warm. No. And when you're all through, you're going in to keep yourself warm in front of the fire made out of that wood, dear. Mm, right? Well, mm, no, no. See, this oh. is this is a baseball. See? A baseball. Uh huh. And oh. this is a bat. And that's a bat. Mm hmm. And uh, but you hit the ball with a bat. Oh, you I should have told. To this is a baseball hat. That, I remember that, seeing that's one. That's a baseball hat. Oh, this is a glove. The and Mets you... wear those things. Right, the Mets. And you catch the ball with this glove. Yeah. And so I was playing baseball. Oh wow! I would love to play baseball. You would. Someday, maybe I can play. Well, maybe maybe we could teach him, huh? Huh, yeah. Chris? You could teach me. Yeah. Oh, I'm a good learner, Miguel. Hey, what if we all played? I could get Gordon and maybe even Susan and oh. Bob and Mr. Loper and, and John and everybody. They could all play baseball. Hey, could you yeah. teach oh. us? Yes, uh, yeah, okay. They could... Oh, I'll go yes, oh. okay? Okay, oh, wow. Big Bird, I'll oh, teach you. Fun. Oh, Gordon! Susan! Go, oh. Mr. Loper! Gee, we'll have to play baseball Bye. with Big Bird. Go! Are you rolling on? Okay, let's go down there. Come on, Here goes the ball. Hey! 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 Hey!
You mean okay, it's my turn? Yeah. Oh wow! Uh, I've never played baseball. What do I do? I just that's played, and I and I hit the ball. Hit it and knock it over the wall. Yeah. 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 Here it comes, Big Bird. Here comes, Big Bird. Okay. Here comes, Big Bird. 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 It's all right. Huh. Take heart. Wait. You just got to have heart and a bat and an eye. Wait a minute. It's a fly. Wait a minute. That's a fly, a a a minute. That's a fly buzzing around my head. <laughs> but he's bothering me. Missed him. I'll get him. I'll get him. Time for a little jam session here. On uh, drums we have Kwame. Take it away, Kwame. And his sister Akua on guitar. And our one and only Mauricio on harmonica. Okay, now we're gonna have a little game with some of the things over here. But first I want you to take a look at the things we have on this table. We have a pot over here, a little pot for cooking in, and a trumpet, okay, and a rubber ducky. Now what you have to try and figure out is which one of these things should be over in this group over here. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Take a good look at all these things and at these things. See if you can figure this one out. Because here are some things that belong together. Here are some things that are, well, they're kind of the same. Here are some things that belong together. And now it's time to play our game. Okay, now over here, you see one of these things belongs with the others. See if you can guess which one. Guess which thing belongs with the others. Guess before my song is done. Okay, now let's take a close look at all the things we have here. On this side, we have a pot and a trumpet and a rubber ducky. And over here, we have a harmonica, a guitar, and a drum. Think you know which one of these things belongs over here? I'll bet you do. Well, one of these things goes with the others. Do you think that uh, this one might? Well, if you guessed that this thing goes with the others, then you're absolutely right. And of course, the reason that you're right is that this is a trumpet, right? Which is a musical instrument, right, Kwame? Right. Akua? And your drum is a musical instrument, right? You can make sounds on that. And a guitar is a musical instrument, right, Akua? And the little uh, hot lips on... Uh, <laughs> On harmonica, that's another musical instrument, and so is this trumpet. Shall we have a little jazz session here? One, two, three. Hey, beautiful. Okay, you're on. Hey, very good. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we've got over here now. Now on rocket, we have uh, Chris, right, Chris? Let's see how that rocket works. Pretty good. And we have Patty on jet airplane. Let's see that jet up there. Shh. And Gillian's in Helicopter 4 giving us all of the traffic reports. Right, Gillian? Okay. Now, down here, we have a sailboat and a little car and a glider. Now, the trick here is to figure out which one of these things, the glider or the car or the sailboat, goes with all of the things that they have up there. Think you can figure this one out? Let's see how well you do here. Now here are some things 
that belong together. Here are some things that are kind of the same. Here are some things that belong together. And now it's time to play our game. Now let's take a look down here again. Because one of these things belongs with the others. See if you can guess which one. Guess which thing belongs with the others. Guess before my song is done. Think you figured it out yet? Let's look at them closely once again. Here's the glider airplane, a little sports car, a sailboat. And up on top, we have the rocket, jet airplane, and helicopter. Figure out which one of these goes up there? Well, one of these things goes with the others. Do you think that uh, this one might? Well, if you guess that this thing goes with the others. Ah, uh, you know what? You're absolutely right once again. Hey, you did very, very well. Now, the glider, of course, belongs with all of these things because the glider flies and the rocket flies, right? Two things that fly. Over here, jet airplane flies and the glider flies, right? And here is a helicopter which flies and the glider flies. So all of those things fly and they all go together. Hey, you did very, very well. Let's see if this flies. Oh. Hey, do you hear what I hear? Sounds like an airplane. Hey, you know who it is? It's old Alphabet Bates, and there he is right back up there again. Hey, I wonder what he's gonna, wonder what he's gonna write for us today. Maybe he's gonna write, hello, what, what letter do you think he's gonna draw? You think he's gonna make an L? Well, that's, that's a guess. Could be a P. Could be an R, could be a W. M. M, could be an M. M. Hmm. I. Yeah, it looks like an I so far. Uh-oh, something else coming out in the bottom. L. 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 Oh. Hey, he's not finished yet. Well, it could be a could be a, a square, couldn't it? Yeah. If he makes another line down the other side, it's gonna be like a square. A rectangle. Uh-oh, here comes another one. What is it? E. What is it? E. at clouds. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be a bird. No, a chicken. It is a chicken. What's it gonna be now? I see ears. Ears. Bunny, it's a bunny. gonna rain. No, it isn't. Maybe it will. It rained last week. Look! A cat! Two cats! Two scary cats! Let's go home. Let's see if Oscar is home, huh? Hey, Oscar! There's nobody home! Go away! Come on, Oscar, come out here. I'd like you to say hello to two friends of mine, Maurizio and Gillian. They're not home. Come on, come on out. All right. What do you want? Oscar, this is my amigo, 
And this is my amiga. Wait a minute. That's Mauricio and that's Gillian. Oh, what do you call them names for? Well, you see, those are their names. But uh, I said they were my friends. And you see, in Spanish... No, you didn't. You called them a funny name. You well, said, uh, wait, um, wait, amiga, let, amiga. Me, let me finish. See, in Spanish, when, when you say uh, friends, when you have a, 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 a friend that is a boy, yeah. you call him amigo. And oh. when you have a, a, a friend that is a girl, you call her amiga. Oh, wait, now. Let's see if I got this straight. In English, the word is friend. That's right. But in Spanish, if your friend is a boy, you say amigo, right? Amigo? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if it's a girl, then you call her amiga. Right. Okay. Uh, now, would you like to say hello to my friends? Oh, yeah, I'd be thrilled. Uh, hello, amigo. Hello. Hello, amiga. Hi. Happy? Hey, got another idea. Yes? How do you say in Spanish, go away and leave me alone? Oh, hmm? well, you say, uh, uh, váyase y déjeme tranquilo. Yeah, like you said. Ha-ha! <laughs> Poem time! Okay, clock. Quiet. 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 It's quiet. <clears throat> you may have noticed that sometimes babies, like baby birds, they don't look the same when they're babies as they do when they get big. And people are kind of the same, too. So in this poem time, I will explain it all to you with this nifty poem I have written. It's called Babies by Big Bird. Babies sure are funny things. They sleep most of the day. They're sloppy when they eat their food. And they haven't much to say. You can't play baseball with them or share a soda pop. And sometimes when they start to cry, you think they'll never stop. But if you give them lots of love, the next thing you will see They'll grow up big and strong and handsome, just like you and me. There's one penny in the old bank. Why don't you put one in, Chris? Okay. That makes two pennies. Hi, Gordon. No, I'm Bob, Big Bird. Oh, that's right. Hi, Bob. Three. Hi, Chris. Four. Hi, Farley. Hi, Big Bird. Hi. What you doing? Oh, we're putting some pennies. Yeah, putting some pennies in the bank. Is that a bank? Right? Yeah, it's a piggy bank. It's hey, a piggy bank? It's a piggy bank. Why do you call it a piggy bank? Because it's shaped like a pig, Big Bird. It is shaped like a fat little pig. Sure. <laughs> Put your money in there. Right. Hey, what putting... would you buy, Farley, if you had this whole bank full of pennies? Oh, I'd buy some uh, shoestring licorice and some bubble gum. Mm, sounds pretty good. Chris, what would you buy? I'd buy a lot of things. Buy a lot of things? Some comic books. Some comic books? Yeah. Uh, Bob? Yes? I have a question. Mm. Now, after you get that all filled up with pennies and nickels and things, right. how do you get them all out again? Oh, well, you have to, uh, you have to break, break the bank, Big Bird. It's the only way you can get the pennies out. You have to break it? Yeah. Hey, what would oh, you buy, well, Big Bird, if, if you had this piggy bank full of pennies? Well, I think I know what I'd buy. What? A new piggy bank, because you just broke it. What are you, the umpire here? Oh, yeah. Listen, Gordon. What? Who is the one guy in a baseball game nobody likes? The umpire. The umpire. Right. I love it. You're right. Yeah, he's right. out. Ah, out. Listen, he's on fire. Oh, Goodbye. We'll see you out. soon. Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letter E and the number 5. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop.
This is PBS, the public broadcasting service.